Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cabela's, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, Hoyman Tree Sauce, Muddy Outdoors, and Realtree. Welcome to Midwest Whitetail, Wolf Family Blog. Today is November the 2nd. It's very warm this morning. It rained a little bit yesterday afternoon. We've got fog this morning, so. I'm sitting in one of my favorite stands, even though it's warm. It is November 2nd. I think these bucks are gonna be checking the doe bedding areas first thing this morning. Um, so I'm gonna settle in and maybe do a little bit of calling. Some doe bleats, some tending grunts. Uh, try and get a buck's attention. It's really quiet this morning, so. Hopefully it's a good morning. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we have some deer come in. Well, I was really disappointed in the way the, the wind is swirling up here this morning. Usually on mornings, you know, your pressure just rises and the, your scent just rises and you don't have to worry about it. But I got to see a nice buck. Um, he smelled me, but uh, I don't, that's not usually too big of a deal, especially in this area because there's just so many deer. Um, I don't know. It was... Decent morning, decent good slash somewhere in there, so um, hopefully I'll come back this evening, get a chance to hunt in the evening, and uh, next couple days should be pretty decent, uh, next week should be really good, so I'm excited, it's that time of year, so thanks for tuning in to Midwest Whitetail, the Wolf Family Blog. Well hey everybody, welcome to Midwest Whitetail. Today is November the 3rd. Um, we've got a strange wind. Got a little weird front thing going through right now. It's a northeast switching to an east. Uh, cloudy, cool. It was warm earlier today, sunny. And now the clouds came in. I think the deer are gonna be moving even with an east, northeast like this. It's a weird wind for this time of year, weird wind for us. Um, especially when it's actually blowing. Whenever it's a northeast, it's usually completely dead. And we've got some spots for that, but... So I came to a spot I've not hunted in... I don't know, four years? Um, I have cameras here. I have two cameras within 30 yards here, because I think Stickers is... Well, I know Stickers was using this quite a bit. I have a lot of pictures of him. Um, but not in the last two or three weeks, so... Surely another buck is, is using the area, moving through quite a bit.
pretty exciting. Had those does come by. I was going to pass them. <clears throat> but then uh, a deer behind me started blowing, and they just, these three stood here forever. Uh, I knew it was just a matter of time before they either picked up a little bit of the swirling scent in here or spotted me up in the tree. I know that she kept looking up here. I got away with it, you know, as far as my camo goes. It's good enough to, to, to fool her eyes, but not her nose, so still could have a buck move through, so got my fingers crossed. Saying a little bow hunter prayer, so uh, that was close. She was 14 yards and I almost shot the one in the back. Uh, took my bow off the hanger, getting ready, and then they, she finally blew and took off, so that's okay. It'll always be another deer. I woke on the Midwest Whitetail Great Plains. We made it over here to South Central Illinois yesterday, about midday. I hunted the Golden 40 last night. Had one small buck uh, tearing up the brush. Had another uh, oh, two and a half year old chasing. And I had a doe and triplets come out into the uh, big and beastie over there last night. But nothing out of the big boys, but I'm here on Jack's 90 this morning. I had to wait around for the uh, wind to switch out from out of the east. That's more out of the south, southeast. Well, the wind switched up on me again this morning while I was at the Golden 40 and was very variable to say the least. So the landowner actually had another farm here that he had planted a couple food plots and standing beans and a few of the farms they've been hunting as well as Jack's 90 that I've been hunting. They've really been pounding these standing beans for some reason.
dandy three-year-old. Solid buck. Grounded at him, he kept walking. Gave him a good hard grunt, a snort wheeze, and had him here. I don't know, 10, 12 steps. I just need one a year older to uh, do that same thing. Was exciting. I uh, plan to get back in this stand tomorrow if we still have an east wind. The owner actually come and check these beans, see if there was some good beans in here, which there are. Today, around lunchtime, and I actually walked in here and there were deer, there were does in the beans. Anyway, I'm gonna shut it down for tonight and uh, catch you back here in a tree in the morning. Hey guys, real quick, it's November 11th. Ashley has a muley doe tag, we're on public land, public, private land, public access block management. We made a quick sneak on some uh, uh, muley doe, she's got a muley doe tag for this unit. We made a quick sneak, didn't pan out. A lot of guys pressured them. So we're down to the, as you can tell with the light, we're down to the last wire here. We're gonna try to put a quick sneak. We've gotten close enough now, we think we can put a put a good stock of roux on them and, and see if we actually can get a shot. Rack another one in, quick. Oh, come on. Tip it, tip it over, tip it over. What is wrong with this? Okay, put your crosshair right in the top of her back. Where, where she? She's the second from the right. Put your crosshair right in the top of her back. You sure she's second from the right? Got her. Put another one in your gun. She's just standing there. She's in the very front. Nope, she's going down. She's going down. When they do this, do they take their last breath? Oh yeah, she's done. <laughs> she just did this. Good job. <laughs> Beautiful. She get the windmill in there. Yeah. Shoot it straight up. <laughs> Awesome. Good job, babe. Even under pressure. Gun jammed in the works. <laughs> awesome. Let's go get the kids. Uh, I want to put them in my pocket. Hey, Ashley, you want to put Thanks for 
watching what it was like, dude. Well, it's November 17th. Uh, it's about 2 o'clock, and I'm just about ready to head out to the stand. Um, back on the home farm tonight, and we really haven't pressured it much. The rifle season is underway here. We're It's about ready to wrap up here in Nebraska. And we've had a lot of pressure to the east of us and to the west of us, and hopes I'm hoping that it's pushing a lot of deer to our property because um, we have not pressured it hardly at all. Um, tonight we're setting up in a primary bedding location that we have never hunted because the the entrance and exit is virtually impossible it's it's still not a perfect shot to it tonight i have a chance of still busting some deer i'm gonna have to belly way back out into this bean field and then come straight in from the south in hopes that i'm out there far enough, far enough that they can't see um, but when we hung this setup back in august there was beds all over and surrounding this stand location so i'm doing my opening interview now because once I get in there, I'm gonna be I have to be awful quiet. Cause I'm gonna be right on top of deer. But we'll see what they do tonight. But I'm hoping that I can catch one cruising through there later this evening. It's awful warm for November 17th. It's 59 degrees right now, um, with a very light breeze coming out of the northwest, um, northwest, north, um, which is the only one direction that I can hunt this stand. So I'm gonna get in there as quiet as possible and get set up and settled in. sit down for a while. I don't look for the action to be till real late being it's so warm, but you never know what can happen in November, so.
Well, I made it back to the truck. I wasn't able to do an exit interview there while I was in the tree because there's so much activity going on um, that I need to stay quiet. But holy smokes, what a night. Um, I think I saw five or six different bucks. Um, nothing with real great size to them or anything that I, I was looking to harvest, but um, lots of activity, pushing does, tending does. Um, and it was from the moment I was climbing the ladder or walking in, I bumped a couple um, to the moment I got out of the stand. Uh, there was deer activity so it was you know I was in there for four 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 and a half hours but it felt like you know 30 minutes it was it was a lot of fun uh, I look forward to getting back out again so keep you updated as we as the season goes on uh, we still got a month and a half worth of archery season here in Nebraska so um, I look to be back out this weekend it's the 17th hopefully the 19th I'll be back out got some um, holiday stuff this weekend but be back in a stand soon